Hello everyone and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and this is Benji and today we have yoga for self-discipline, a juicy one. So hop into something comfy and let's get started. Alright my friends, welcome. Let's begin in a nice comfortable seat with the legs crossed, Sukhasana. Take your time getting in. This is our first video of the new year that's not part of our true series. So if you're new to the Yoga with Adrian family, welcome. If you're not doing this in real time and you're doing this in the future, welcome. Let's get started by dropping our pin right here, right now, whoever you are, wherever you are, with whatever you're coming to the mat with. So we're just gonna take our time, sitting up nice and tall as you're ready. And as you're willing, beginning to relax the shoulders, maybe close the eyes, starting to notice your breath. I'd like to acknowledge that sometimes it really does take a lot to kind of get to this point. So just take a, a moment here to have a little gratitude <laughs> for yourself for getting to this point. From here on out, for the duration of our practice, we'll set an intention to really choose to just be in the moment best we can here and to lean in. Today's focus is on self-discipline. We often search elsewhere for people to hold us accountable, but what if we could cultivate that accountability from within? And then the exterior can be supportive of that, but it's coming from a real place. We're gonna build a little heat today. And when you come up against something that feels hot and heavy, see if you can take a deep breath in and lean in something becomes uncomfortable. See if you can relax your shoulders, take a deep breath and lean in. Remember that the invitation is really just to show up. Whatever else happens on the mat, you're just gonna allow for it to happen. Don't fight it. Then when you're ready, we'll draw the hands together, just kind of allowing the energy to settle in, the dust to fall, the glitter, the magic. And we'll come into this moment together as we press the palms right at the heart center. So you're gonna bring your thumbs right to your sternum and then lift your sternum up to your thumbs. And this should allow you to elongate up through the spine, just lengthen through the neck a little more. And then take a solid inhale in, here we go. And a long breath out. Here we go again, big inhale. And a long exhale. And here we go all together. Think of how many people are breathing in sync at this moment together, big inhale. And long extended exhale. And on this last one, go ahead and close your eyes. Breathe deep, big inhale. And empty it all out, long exhale. Great, continue to listen to the sound of your breath. Slowly allowing your breath to become longer, fuller, deeper connection to that song. And we'll take a moment here before we really get moving to just invite ourselves and each other to set a little intention for something in particular that you'd like to focus on, that you'd like to be more disciplined about. This can be really specific or it can be a broader idea or feeling. 
I'm going to suggest as your humble yoga guide and friend that you go with whatever comes up first. Go with your gut. What is something that you'd like to be more disciplined about in the month to come? Tight, then bring the thumbs up to your third eye point, your third eye center. Take a deep breath in, confirm your intention, consider it already done, already so. And then exhale, release the hands. You're gonna bring them gently, fingertips to the earth, to the sides. And we're just gonna take our nose and we're gonna draw small circles with the nose, one way and then the other. One way and then the other. And see if you can keep your heart lifted here and start to activate through the upper back body. So draw the shoulder blades together and lift your chest. Cool, take two more breaths here to just work out any kinks in the neck. Awesome, then we're gonna come forward onto all fours. Find your tabletop position. Right away, Moving with the breath. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. And then exhale, round through, chin to chest, navel draws up, up, up. Inhale, drop the belly, spread the fingertips on the earth. And then exhale, rounding through, start with the tailbone and round up, drawing the navel up towards the sky. Once more like this, inhale, drop the belly, open the chest, look forward or up towards that third eye point. And exhale, rounding through. Really press into your fingertips here. Lift up from your armpit chest. Great, then inhale, come to tabletop position. You're gonna bump the hips to the left and turn to look past your right shoulder. Take a deep breath in, feel that stretch in the left side body, and then exhale, come back through center. Bump the hips to the right. Take your gaze just past your left shoulder. Take a deep breath in, feel the stretch in the right side body. And then exhale, come back to center. Bring the knees as wide as your yoga mat, big toes to touch. Inhale, look forward, drop the belly, feel that stretch through the front body. Exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest. Now continue the journey back as you send the sits bones towards your heels. You're gonna reach your fingertips forward, forward, forward. Child's pose. Melt your heart to the earth. Oh, benjitito. Forehead comes to the ground. And you're gonna amp up the breath here. So we're bringing a focus inward today. Knowing that the exploration and the work we do on our mat translates to the exploration and the work we navigate off the mat. So again, when the mind goes kind of monkey brain or when you want to come out of something, see if you can lean in and stick with it. Stick with me, stick with the practice. Honor where you're at today. We'll take three quiet cycles of breath here. You got this. Listen to the sound of your breath. And slowly begin to rock your forehead a little side to side, massaging your third eye center and just the brow bone, also quite nice if you're suffering from any allergies or congestion. And then take this, this time that, that you've tuned in, take this beat with you on into the next thing. So careful not to jerk your body up and into downward dog. We're gonna slowly carve a line with the nose to look forward. Draw the navel up. Mindful movement, if you've been doing 30 days of uh, true, the 30 day journey, you can take all of your new vocabulary into the practices we shared this year together. So integrating breath with movement, finding the softness, just trusting the yoga. Eventually you're gonna peel your way up to downward facing dog. Mm, breathe a little deeper, more fully, lots of awareness and discipline and how you place the hands, how you place the feet, your foundation. 
And then take a moment to pedal it out. Find what feels good. Let go of the day thus far. Bring your focus inward. And use the breath as a tool to do just that. This epic power tool of the breath. So when things start to spiral out of control, or you feel apathetic, can't move your body off the mat, you can always start with the breath. As you're ready, find a moment of stillness in your downward dog. Maybe a slight bend in the knees so you can lift your hip creases high up towards the sky. Upper arm bones rotate out. Inner thighs kind of rotate in and towards the back edge of your mat. Then all that center work we've been working on, hug the lower ribs in. Claw through the fingertips to take pressure out of the wrists. Now now is the point where I'd take you out of the pose. So we're going to stay here for two cycles of breath. You got this. Lean in. Practice. Building that tapas, that heat, and that focus, that discipline. Nice. Then bend the knees. Bring your belly to the tops of the thighs. Look forward. Then you're going to step the right foot all the way up, followed by the left foot, ragdoll. Feet hip width apart. Clasp the elbows. And you're going to allow the weight of the head to drop down as you gently shake the head a little bit. Yes. And balance it out a little bit, no. Nodding the head, yes and no here. Feeling that deep stretch through the backs of the legs. Notice how that's connected to the lower back as the spine hangs. Does anybody ever sometimes, oh, that's too morbid, but sometimes because I've had a dog pass away in my life, sometimes I wonder, is Benji breathing? <laughs> He's alive, alive and well. To all the loves we've lost, we bow to you. All right, take one more breath in here, letting the blood flow opposite direction. Start to dig a little awareness and weight into your heels and then to the ball joint of your big toes and then the ball joint of your pinky toes. So lots of awareness through the feet. That bada banda, that foot to earth connection. Sweet, then release the arms if you haven't already. Bend the knees, you're gonna drop your center and your bum down in space as you tuck the chin and slowly begin to roll it up. Take your time. Stack up through the spine and for this first mountain pose, take what you need here. Fix your pantaloons, lick your lips, fix your hair, shake it out, work out anything that feels a little tight. Maybe you interlace the fingertips behind. Anything at all, because from here on out, just for the sake of our exploration of this tapas today, we're gonna politely, lovingly invite ourselves and each other to drop the fidgeting in mountain pose. So take what you need here, and then here on after, we'll see, do we really need this? Can we leave that, that type of extraneous movement behind? Not because that's the way we do it in yoga and that's right or wrong, but this is the path to a higher awareness. Um, just this is the path to awareness, period, right? Could be maybe the path to your highest self. Eh? More on that. I'll, I'll write a little more about that, but let's stay focused on the practice. So take what you need here. Play with your toes. Play with the connection of your foot to the earth. So just lots of awareness. And if you're brand new to the practice and you're like, what is this woman talking about? I got you. It's all good. Draw energy up from the earth, whatever that means to you by standing up nice and tall. Then when you're ready, we'll bring the hands together at the heart and begin to focus or refocus rather on the breath. Listen to the sound of your breath as you stand up nice and tall. Lift the kneecaps a little bit. Think about your hip points shining up towards the sky. It changes your posture here and the way that you're carrying yourself. And then here we go. We're going to bend the knees, drop the fingertips down. And then on a big inhale, reach up towards the sky. Big stretch, big breath. Exhale, bend the elbows, lift your chest, open your heart. Great, then inhale, reach for the sky. Nice, soft, easy movement. And then exhale, palms are gonna come together and down through the midline today for the whole practice, all the way down through the midline with control. Great, forward fold, we've been here, beautiful. 
On your next inhale, lift up halfway. Just create a nice flat back sensation from the crown to the tail. So make sure the head's not dipping down here. Find length and then exhale to fold. We'll bend the knees. Fingertips are going to come to the earth. You're just going to step the left toes back first. Left toes. Then yogi's choice. You can lower the back knee here if that feels right for your body or keep it lifted. Then you're going to walk your right foot out just a bit. Pull the right hip crease back. And then inhale, open the chest, look forward. Exhale, bring your right hand over towards your left. Now you're in a little lizard variation with the knee down or up. You can turn the right toes out a bit. We're gonna pull the right hip crease back. Inhale, open the chest, look forward. Great, then exhale, bring the right toes in. Frame your right foot with your hands once again. And we're gonna step it back to plank. Here we go. Strong plank. You can come onto the knees here right away. We're gonna work on keeping that nice straight line from the crown to the tail. So you don't have to Keep the knees lifted if it means you can keep the integrity of the spine. You might lower the knees so that you can work on that alignment. Take a deep breath in here. You got it. Then exhale, lower all the way down, all the way down to the belly. Benji level. Then press into the pubic bone. Press firmly into the tops of the feet. Hug the elbows in. And inhale, baby cobra. Just a small, gentle cobra. Now tug the shoulders away from the ears and draw the shoulder blades together, really together. Press into the tops of the feet even more. Then check it out, inhale, tuck the chin. Lift the back of the neck up just a bit as you inhale. And then exhale, slowly release. Curl the toes under, lift the kneecaps, tone your quads, claw through the fingertips, and inhale, press back up to plank. Quietly whisper to yourself, I am strong. I am strong. And then send it up and back, downward facing dog. Just two down dogs over here in the yoga with Adrian house. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Inhale to look forward, bend your knees. Exhale, ragdoll, step it to the top. Here we go, inhale, halfway lift, find length, and then exhale to soften and fold. Bend the knees, inhale, reach for the sky. Here we go, exhale, hands come together and down to the heart. Mountain pose, be still, try, don't fidget. Lengthen tailbone down, lift your heart up, smile just a bit. Nice work, bend the knees, fingertips are gonna go down and then you're gonna inhale to reach for the sky. Once again, big breath, big stretch. Exhale, bend the elbows, you can kind of bring some energy to the fingertips here as you lift your chest. And then inhale, reach back up. Exhale, palms come together, bend the knees, and we take it all the way down through the midline. Namaste. Great, inhale, halfway lift, just find length, play here, tug the shoulders back, and then exhale to fold. Bend your knees, fingertips come to the earth. This time we're gonna slide the right toes all the way back. Now, again, you can lower the right knee here if it feels awesome, maybe even just for a couple breaths, or keep it lifted. We're gonna walk the left foot out just a little bit. Feel that pulling back of the left hip crease, that active pull back of the left hip crease. And then if you want, you can turn the left toes out a bit. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale with control, bring that left hand over to the right. We come into a little lizard variation here. Great. Lots of awareness from the crown to the tail. Loop the shoulders, inhale, open the chest, look forward. Pull that left hip crease back. Awesome, then bring the left toes back in. We'll frame the left foot with our hands. Take a deep breath in, smile just a bit. And then exhale, plant the palms, step the left toes back, plank pose. Beautiful, inhale, rock forward onto the toes. Exhale, bend the elbows and lower all the way to your belly. Press into your foundation here. Here we go, inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Curl the toes under, lift the kneecaps. Claw through the fingertips, inhale in. Exhale, power up, press up, plank pose. Quietly whisper to yourself, I am strong. And then with a dedicated breath, make your way to downward facing dog. Find stillness here, claw through the fingertips and listen to the sound of your breath. Yeah, yeah, bend the knees, inhale, look forward. Exhale, ragdoll, step to the top, really nice. 
Inhale, halfway lift, no rush. And then exhale, soften and bow. Ground through the feet, inhale, spread the fingertips, reach for the sky. Big breath, big stretch, palms come together and then exhale, hands to heart. Find stillness, listen to your breath. All right, bend the knees and here we go. Big inhale, big stretch for the sky. This time we're gonna bring the palms together, interlace the fingertips, steeple grip. Bump the hips to the left, slow tilt towards the right. Spiral your heart up towards the sky. Nice and connected to your center, your core here. So hug those lower ribs in. Then press into your heels, bring it all the way back up and we'll take it to the other side. Bump the hips to the right, lean. Spiral your heart up towards the sky. Stay connected to your core. Navel draws in and up just a hair. And then slowly come all the way back up. Palms come together in prayer as you look up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. Pull the thumbs back. Lift your chest. And then exhale. Here we go. Down through the midline. Stay focused on the breath. Inhale. Halfway lift. Find that nice, long, beautiful neck. And then exhale to fold. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step the right toes back, then step the left toes back. Now, lots of awareness in the hands, lots of awareness from crown to tail. Rock front, rock back, and then the next time you rock front, you're gonna hug the elbows in, really lift the front body up to meet the back body, and lower all the way to the belly for cobra, or lower down halfway and lift up, upward facing dog. Press into your foundation, either way, lift your chest. Lift, 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 inhale, claw through the fingertips. And then exhale, in your own time, moving with your breath, make your way to downward facing dog. All right, once you get to your downward dog, get really settled in the breath. Spread awareness throughout the whole body. We're gonna bring a little more tapas, a little heat on here. It's not gonna be long, so just one little standing sequence. So again, remember, as you get tested, see if you can stick with it. Breathe longer, fuller, deeper breaths. Let's giddy up and go. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, shift forward, knee to nose. Upper body is in plank, so your shoulders just go over your wrists here. We draw the navel in and up, squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift, and then inhale, kick it back up, three-legged dog. Nice, exhale, this time cross it over, right knee to left elbow, shift forward, upper body is in plank, so make your neck nice and long now. Beautiful, then anchor through the left heel and inhale, lift the right leg up high. Last one, you got it, right knee up and over towards the right elbow. Look forward on this one. Lift your right heel up towards your right glute. You got it. Great. Inhale, kick it back up. Three-legged dog. Amazing. Exhale, light step all the way up into your lunge. Beautiful. Inhale, open the chest. Keep that opening as you pivot on the back foot. And then we're going to slowly rise up, warrior one. So front knee is bent over front ankle. Be really meticulous about your alignment here today. Lengthen tailbone down. And then as you're ready, reach the arms all the way up. So stay connected to your center. You can always adjust by keeping the hands on the waistline. I'd love for everyone to check their back foot. And we're gonna use this throughout all the new practices in the month of February and really in all of my practices. So turn your back foot in so you can really feel that inner thigh spiral. Tailbone lengthens down, heart lifts up, center engage, core engage as you reach towards the sky or hands on the waistline. Then everyone, walk your right foot out just a bit more so you're on two wide tracks rather than two narrow ones or even one tight rope. And then keep breathing here as you start to really press into the knife edge of your back foot to engage your left inner thigh. And then just like we did in the beginning of this practice, pull your right hip crease back. So now you should feel this connection between your two feet to the earth. And then we're just gonna draw a little energy up from your center. Lean back, maybe retract a little bit by tucking the chin into the chest. All right, take one more deep breath in, inhale. And then exhale with control. Slowly release the arms down. We're gonna come into eagle arms. Feel that flesh as you release. Right arm's gonna go underneath the left. And if you don't come into the double wrap here, no problem. It's actually kind of nice to come into the single wrap. Maybe hug your shoulders. Give yourself a little hug. Bend that front knee. Lift the elbows if you're in this variation or the double wrap. It's really the same thing. Just lift the elbows. Now press into the knife edge of your back foot. Then slowly press into the ball joint of your left big toe. We're gonna lift the left heel. So you're coming into a high lunge here. 
Now feel free <laughs> to peek at me for this transition. You have two options. One is to bend the front knee and slowly bring the left leg all the way up into that eagle. If that seems too far of a jump for today, you'll lift the back heel, come halfway first, catch your breath, and then from there, move slowly into your balancing posture. Now this is meant to throw you off your game, so play. Stay focused, don't give up, do your best. Lift the back heel, slowly, and with control, we'll wrap the top leg now, the left leg over the right. Maybe you do a double bind here, maybe not. And we continue to now lift the elbows up. And once you come into your version of this pose today, find a strong focus. Keep your knees bent and drop your center a little lower in space as you squeeze the legs together, really together. Notice, feel that heat as it creeps all up and down your beautiful body. And then make sure your breath is strong and supportive here. You're not gripping in your toes. We'll lift the elbows, lift the chest, drop the center a little more, breathe in. And then exhale, unravel the legs, unravel the arms, and come all the way to your mountain pose, this time with the fingertips resting at your sides. Now close your eyes and observe the breath. Try not to fidget here. Find places to lift and then places to soften. Sweet, and then bend the knees, inhale, reach for the sky. Bring the palms together, steeple grip, bump the hips to the left, tilt to the right, and then spiral your heart up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly come back to center. Just with your breath, take it to the other side. Keep breathing. Nice, long, beautiful neck, strong connection to your core. When you're ready, inhale, and exhale. Come all the way back to center. Take a deep breath in. Pull the thumbs back, and then exhale, Palms go down the midline, all the way down to forward fold. Great, inhale, halfway lift, your version, find length. And then exhale to soften and bow. Plant the palms, step it back. Strong plank pose here. Press away from your yoga mat and really reach your heels towards the back edge of your mat. Then inhale to look forward, shift forward, hug the elbows into the side body. Exhale, belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog. Find your heart opener here with your breath. And then use your exhale to guide your way back to downward facing dog. Inhale in. Exhale out. All right, lean into this last dance of structured movement. Let the breath really be alive inside of it. Here we go. Right heel goes down. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Claw through the fingertips. Exhale, squeeze. Knee to nose, shift forward, upper bodies in plank. Beautiful, inhale, three-legged dog. Cross it over, left knee to right elbow. Shift forward, and this time look forward. Long, beautiful neck. Really come on to the right toes. Great, then anchor your right heel down. That's what sends the left leg all the way back up. Last one. Think up and over with your left knee as you shift forward. Claw through the fingertips, look forward. Try to bring your left heel up towards your left glute. Yes, and then kick it back up. Three-legged dog. Nice, slow and steady. Step it all the way up into your nice low lunge. Find your breath, tug the shoulders away from the ears. Way to stick with it. And then when you're ready, we'll pivot on the back foot. And slowly rise up, prepping for our strong and aligned warrior one. Lengthen tailbone down. Take a nice wide stance today. Turn the right toes in. So nice wide stances in the width. Give yourself two long tracks, maybe even a little more than usual. Pull the left hip crease back. Hands can stay on the waistline. Or when you're ready, we'll reach all the way up towards the sky. So press into the knife edge of that back foot so you can really feel the right inner thigh engaged. Then pull the left hip crease back, pull the thumbs back in space, lift your chest, and breathe a little deeper, more fully. Then if you like, soften your gaze here, or close your eyes in this one. Breathing deep, warrior one, Virabhadrasana one,
Great, inhale, take one more breath, reach up. And then exhale, release the arms with control. Again, feel that flesh, stay present. And then this time, the left arm's gonna come underneath the right as you find your Garandasana arms. And again, you don't have to do the double bind here. You can just cross at the elbows and lift the chest, lift the elbows. And when you're ready, connect to your center by drawing the navel in and up. We're gonna slowly pivot on the back foot. Front knee stays bent, lift your right heel up. Great, feel that deep stretch, inhale, connect to your center, and then exhale, test it out on the other side. We'll bend the front knee, and slowly bring that right leg to cross over the left, Garandasana Eagle Pose. So testing, testing you. Life is a series of tests, one might argue or believe. So how do we handle the tests or the battles? Can we do it with grace? With control versus being out of control, control of our breath. Find a strong focus here. Lift the elbows up high, bend the knees a little deeper. You got it. Feel the warmth, the heat, that tapas, that burn. And take one more breath here, you got it. And then exhale, release, unravel with control. Legs, arms, mountain pose. Find stillness here, close your eyes if you like. Oop, I just fixed my shirt, so perfect. I need this practice, try not to fidget. Lift up through the chest, crown down through your feet, your heels. Notice where you might be holding or clinching anything in the ankles, tops of the feet, forehead, shoulders. Just take a moment to soften. Great, bend the knees. Last time, inhale, reach for the sky. Palms come together right away. And then exhale all the way down through the midline. Great, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften and fold. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step it back, plank pose. Belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog. Move with your breath, inhaling to open the chest. And then exhaling, we're gonna lower the knees and send it back, child's pose. Bring the knees together and then walk the fingertips way back towards the toes. Allow your forehead and heart to rest down, shoulders round, and we start to let go. Right away, take a deep breath in, inhale, lots of love in. And close your eyes as you exhale, lots of love out. Taking time to be with yourself on your mat, no matter what the topic is, no matter what's going on in your brain, your mind, your heart, or your body. Together we're committing to regular practice. And that is where the routine or the self-discipline really benefits us. So it's not about limiting or conforming. It really is about showing up for your daily practice, for your sadhana. Press into the tops of the feet. Slowly tuck your chin and begin to rise up. We'll bring the hands together, namaste. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in, sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, come all the way back to tabletop position. We're gonna head into a one-legged king pigeon. So to do that, uh, we'll curl the toes under just to stretch the foot and the top of the foot, a little counter stretch. And then slide your right toes out. You can create a little sawing effect here if it feels good. And then when you're ready, just slowly reel it in, all the way up and in. Pay a lot of attention to your back leg here. And then we'll slowly maybe walk that shin closer to the front edge of the mat, but just be really mindful. Thank you, buddy, thank you. <laughs> then when you feel like you've set your foundation, you're gonna lift up through the chest, inhale, and then exhale, actually look past your right shoulder. 
Press into the top of your left foot firmly and then slowly we'll bring it back. From here, inhale, palms come together just for a breath. And then exhale, release all the way down. Forehead comes to the earth, toward the earth, not to the earth, sorry, toward the earth. Maybe forearms, maybe keep it nice and lifted. We're just gonna allow your head to slowly drop down. And we take a moment to bow here, closing the eyes. Stay active in your breath, as well as active in your toes. And then try to soften through the shoulders and the neck. We're just gonna listen to the sound of the breath here for a moment before we switch sides and then move on. So use this time wisely. Just listen, allow for it to unfold. When you want to come out of the pose or when you want to fidget or move, ask yourself, do I really need this or am I just uncomfortable? So I'm not in the room with you, so it's hard for me to tell. I want to make sure everyone's being really safe. But for the sake of our exploration today, which is a quite deep exploration, by the way, uh, just notice, do I really need to do this or can I, am I just uncomfortable? It's a delicate topic for sure, so I won't tell you what to do, but rather just to really listen and to question. Great, root down through your back foot. Slowly press up onto the palms. Take your time as you unravel. Feel the flush of energy as you lift your chest and your heart up. We'll come back to tabletop position nice and slow. If you want here, you can take a moment to take a fire hydrant with your right leg or to draw circles with the right knee. As you're ready, we'll go ahead and move on to the other side in your own time. So you'll curl the toes under, take some time to stretch that left leg out, and then when you're ready, reel it all the way up and in and find your one-legged king pigeon on the other side. Strong awareness in the back foot, live in the toes. Check in with how this side is different and then do go ahead and look past your left shoulder to pull that left hip crease back one last time before you come to center, align head, heart, and pelvis just internally. Bring the palms together, namaste, and then here we go. Ah. Check in on the other side. Keep returning to the sound of your breath. Again, our practice is almost done, so whatever you're thinking of now, it can, it can probably wait a couple more minutes. And give yourself this time to see what you find when you stay here, stay a while. Listen to the sound of your breath. Soften through the jaw. And as you're ready, slowly press into the back foot. Begin to rise back up, press into your palms. Feel that flush of energy as you lift your chest, your heart. And then we'll press into the palms, come back to that tabletop position. Same thing, you can take a fire hydrant here or circles, find extension, balance it out. And when you're ready, we're gonna curl the toes under, walk the knees as wide as the mat, and actually bring the hands all the way up, coming into a little froggy posture here. 
Now stay a while here, just noticing. Maybe you can bring the hands up towards the heart. Maybe they need to stay down. Just wherever you are, stay a while. Don't think about what's coming next. Stay a while, let me hold you. Stay a while. Mm -hmm. If you know that song, let me know in the comments down below because that would be awesome if you did. Stay here. Oh, the feet are talking, the dogs are talking. So right, we often in the vinyasa classes, is like even as teachers, we want to keep the students engaged. So we're like, here we go, end of the next thing, end of the next thing. Let me capture your attention the next thing. So the idea is we kick off our month with this new practice. Oh my gosh, all the practices after this are going to be so easy breezy. Just stay here, one more breath. Great, then maybe we bring the palms together if they aren't already for one moment just to see, whoa. And then from here, we're going to slowly bring the palms down to the earth. We're going to turn just a little bit, the pinky is out just a hair on the left side and then the pinky out on the right side just a hair. And then you're going to drag the hands all the way back and then slowly we're going to keep the knees wide, lift the hips up, send the gaze forward, pull the shoulders away from the ears. And you're just going to pause here. And I'm drawing everything up in my center, my core, navel draws in and up, pelvic floor lifted. Then maybe from here, I keep my foundation strong. Knees are squeezing, lifting up towards my armpit chest. Maybe from here, I'm gonna create a rainbow effect in my spine, but gaze forward. Maybe I begin to rock a little forward. Keep your toes on the ground and then rock back. And then rock forward and rock back. And then maybe one day with regular showing up on the mat, you might lift one toe and bring it down. I meant one day when we <laughs> keep regularly showing up on the mat. Maybe one day we lift both toes from the ground, we claw through the fingertips, and we squeeze and lift up into this posture we call Bakasana, Crow Pose. So here's a little chance to play. If it's not your thing, you can chill in Froggy or you can meet us in a nice, comfortable seat. But the poses are fun in that they help us by offering us shapes and structures and tools to play within. So while it's not about coming into this shape or hitting this posture, I want to make sure everyone knows that there is wonderful things to gain from the discipline that it takes to get to that shape. Regularly coming to the mat, showing up. Give it one more go if you're playing here in Bakasana. Breathing deep, strong focus. Also, these balancing postures don't lie. You have to kind of be in the, in the moment, right? And then when you feel like you've had your fill, go ahead and slowly release and come to a nice, comfortable seat. Cross-legged. Sitting up nice and tall. And close your eyes and find stillness here in Sukhasan. And maybe lean back a little, head over heart, heart over pelvis. And then bring your right hand to your lower belly and your left hand right to your heart center, your heart space. And then breathe into your hands, feel the warmth of your hands here and spiral back to that thing that you thought of at the top of our practice. And whatever it is you are hoping to get out of your yoga practice, whatever it is you desire in life, this at-home yoga practice will really offers you a place to land, to show up. You don't have to know what to do or how to do it or even be able to fly and crow. Just show up. When you're ready, 
Open your eyes and release your hands. We're gonna bring them together. Finishing up our tapas practice with the little tapas. So uh, tapas has a couple of different definitions and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do a little blog on this. I think we're gonna need a little blog on tapas. But we're gonna end by creating a little energy, a little heat. So don't be shy now, you hear? Bring your palms together. Please don't watch me do this at home. Let's do it together, come on now. We're gonna get nice and tall and long through the spine, sit up really tall. Whatever just happened, it could have been really frustrating. This practice is probably gonna stir up a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and rinse it away. Burn it all away by creating friction here. We're gonna burn everything down so that we can plant new seeds and grow. Tis life, tis the cycle. We learn so much from just listening. Keep it going here for five. Go a little faster, a little harder, a little stronger. Three, two, and one. Release. Ah, open the palms, lift your chest. Start to lift up through the corners of the mouth. Notice how you feel. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, relax your shoulders out. Down, relax your shoulders down. Let's do it one more time. Inhale in, I was feeling it. And exhale, relax your shoulders down as you breathe out. Good, beautiful. Bring the palms together. We're gonna bring them right up to that third eye. Here we go. The light in me honors the light in you. Thank you so much for sharing your time and your energy. Have an awesome day. Namaste.